Damn. Yeah, that's a huge explosion. Drone Grenadier. Today I'm going to share with you an updated version of the Drone Grenadier script. In this script, we added new features and now you can detonate drones with a massive explosion, detonate drones through proximity, drop mines one at a time or all at once, and deploy satchels or explosive charges. Now here we are on the Drone Grenadier script release thread and I will link this release thread in the description of the video that way you guys can access it. Here is a previous video that I did a couple weeks ago on setting up using the Drone Grenadier where you could drop grenades. This goes into how to set up the drones and other aspects to it even changing the the coloring of the text for the action menu. Here we are in the mission to demonstrate the Drone Grenadier script. I have a few assets placed. Now with this new update you could use various types of drones. You could use the drones that you could fly. You could use the drones that roll. And you could use a drone like a stopper. You could also deploy drones you know, from a backpack and utilize those. Before I could show you anything in this little mission, I'm going to actually show you how to install this script. So let's go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to open scenario folder. Here we are in the mission folder. What you need to do is on the release thread, just go to download and click on this link here and it'll open up a new window. You need both of these files. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this here you're going to click on this a new window is going to open up and you're going to get this save window and just locate your missions your mission folder for me it's going to be on stratus and then it's going to be at the top here drone bomber we're just going to save that into the mission folder this you can close and i saved the zip file to my mission folder. What you're going to need to do is once you get the zip folder, just open it and take both scripts out and put them into your mission folder like that. You can close the zip file and remove it. What you're going to have here is two scripts, an init.sqf and an ryd underscore drone underscore grenadier script. In the init.sqf, this basically initializes the Grenadier script. So if you have an existing init.sqf already in your mission, just take that code and add it to your script. If not, then just put that in your mission. Now for the script itself, let's open the script. In order to add the Drone Grenadier features to existing drones what you're going to need to do is give each one of your drones a name and then put them into this box here give it a name and then put a comma and then the next name of the next drone and then comma and the next name etc just like i have here we have this already set up in the mission so let's go to the mission there are different functions for different drones drones that can fly that have a cargo can drop and deploy grenades and mines and satchels and then you have drones like these which have a different function they they're not going to be able to drop or deploy mines and stuff like that all you need to do is just name your drones for whatever drone that you're going to use so like for example this drone here i named uav1 and that is in the script and name this one uav2 uav5 uav4 uav3 and then the stomper is uav6 the deployed drones from a backpack are you don't have to name you don't have to name your unit or anything those are automatic so let's get in the game and I'll show you how this works before we begin I got a little mission that I built for this so let's go to spectator I'll show you what I set up here for the demonstration so in this mission which I have tasked for I have three trucks with uh, heavy machine guns on them. So I got one there, I got one over here, and I got one over by the house here. Then I have a fuel truck over here to destroy, and of course two squads that are roaming around. I have tasks, tasks for each of those. Now what we're going to do is we're going to destroy that first truck by the entrance. So 
we're going to open the UAV terminal and we're going to choose a roller. And this is the roller that we're going to choose. With the script, you're going to have switch proximity fuse and detonate. Switch proximity fuse allows you to get within range of a target and it'll automatically blow up. With detonate, you could literally drive to a target or a spot and just blow it remotely. And that's all these type of drones can do because they don't have any cargo to add any grenades or anything to them. Let's take out that first truck and I'll show you how this works. So all you need to do, I'll show you once we get closer, hopefully we don't get spotted, we should be alright. So all you need to do is switch to switch proximity fuse and it'll say proximity fuse activated. So it's activated but it only it, it starts once you get close. So once you get closer, you'll get this on the screen. It'll give you the threshold, the distance, and what the target is. Yeah! And that, that proximity fuse will detonate the drone. It'll be a massive... Ah! Massive uh, detonation. Massive explosion. The next target is going to be that truck there, so I'm going to use a flying drone. Now with flying drones, as long as it has a cargo, which this one does, I'm going to drop some explosives. So with this I'm going to drop a bunch of bounding mines. And all you need to do is go up to it, just add them to your the drone's cargo, basically just transfer them and then deploy the drone. So let's go to this. It should be the first one here. Yep. Alright, so if you scroll your action menu, you're gonna see four options now. Actually have grenades in the drone, it'll say deploy grenades or deploy all grenades. For mines, it'll say deploy mine, deploy all mines. And of course, all drones are going to have switch proximity fuse and detonate. Deploy mine will drop one mine. Deploy all mines will drop all the mines. Alright, let's deploy this guy. And I'm going to drop all these guys over this house area. Deploy all mines. And we're going to go over here. I'm going to set the proximity fuse. Let it get lower. Yeah, they already triggered some mines off. That's a huge explosion. That'll wipe out everything in that, that little spot. And blew that house. That's crazy. Yeah, that detonation is huge. So we destroyed the, the truck by the house, truck by the entrance, and we got another truck we're going to take out. So with this one, we're going to add some grenades. I'll just add a couple grenades and then deploy some more mines. Eight pure mines for this next drone. Go. Alright, so we got a pelican. So as you can see in the action menu, you have drop grenade, drop all grenades, deploy mines, switch proximity fuse, etc. Drop 
drop one grenade. Deploy all mines. And then I'm gonna get I'm gonna detonate this drone. For drones, you can deploy, you can assemble a drone, and you can do the same thing. So we can drop some grenades. Just like the other drone, this drone gets all the same features. I don't have any mines in this drone, so uh, drop mines is not going to show up. So we have a bunch of mines already set up here, dropped. So you could drop one grenade at a time. Or you could drop them all at a time, one at a time. Kind of just disperse them. disperse them in the area. And then, if you want a proximity, use proximity for this drone. You can. Ah, uh, he shot me before. I got to him. Yeah, he destroyed the drone. Alright, I'll show you how this stomper works. So with the stomper, it's got a ton of cargo space. So with that... We'll hit a ton of grenades. stopper because we got grenades we still get the switch proximity fuse and detonate and drop all grenades but this one works a little bit different with this with the stopper I'll, I'll show you so you can you can launch your grenade drop your grenade, the stomper will basically launch it and let you know how many grenades you have left. Also deploy all the grenades, which will do this. It'll just disperse all the grenades all over the place. And of course, of course, you can detonate the stopper as well.
Alright guys, I hope you liked that and I hope you find the script useful. Link the Drone Grenadier release thread in the description of the video and that way you guys can download the updated script and use it in your missions.